like, I'm not lying. I have your sister's number. So I showed him my phone. I'm like, is this her number? He goes, yeah. I'm like, not lying. And um, that's when they sort of like took a step back. But then Melissa brought up one of my, one of John's family members, which that's when I was like, okay, how does she, she, she wouldn't have known what she said. And that's when I was like, okay, so now Teresa wants to play me dirty. So Melissa and Joe were kind of trying to play you and what? Now you find out that Teresa was playing you and then what? I was like, really? Okay. And then Joe's like, so Penny, who said, I'm like, that's when I was like, it was your sister. She knew the whole thing. She told me and came to do it. And she knew everything. And I just let loose. So he said, you're the most hated woman. You're like, I don't care. Then what? Like Teresa is pretending like, oh, even though Teresa's, because she's happy that you're bringing this out, but she's pretending. But no, I'm saying like with her telling this secret about your family member to Melissa and Joe, what she was pretending like, oh, I hate Penny. What is she doing to you? Oh, okay. Even though she was thrilled really that you were doing this. So Teresa's a little bit of a sneaky one herself, huh? She might not know what the word cordial means. I'll never forget that. Because she's like, we don't we don't hang out, Penny. We're not friends. I'm like, no, Teresa, you got to go with it. I'm like, no, we're cordial. She was cordial, you know. The, I mean, was, really, it just comes down to, because Jacqueline had similar stories, like you, Kim, Jacqueline, everyone is really just a pawn in Teresa versus Melissa and Joe. Yeah. All dispense, dispensable, just dispensable to both sides. That's sick. But I think um, Melissa played it better than Teresa. Teresa's a different person. I think Teresa's more genuine than Melissa. Melissa's just conniving. And I Melissa would also, agree. Melissa will, do, will sell anybody for a dollar. But I, that's what I got. Because, I mean, she just took, if you want to make things nice, she just took Teresa that night and threw her under the bus. So that whole John thing with the Jacqueline, I'm sure she had part of it. I think it was Teresa and I, you know, my, I have a feeling it wasn't her. I think it was Melissa. Joe went to Rod's hut and spoke to John before that whole filming. What was going to happen that night? And when I thought everything was, I was completely taken back. Here is the same thing. Because the next season, they did the same thing to poor Jacqueline. It will all come out. And, you know, you know, John was like, John was so devastated with that whole crazy rumor that was about him. <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry, it's going to come out. Just leave it alone. Yes, it hurts now, but at the end, you'll be the one laughing. It's going to come out. They're t- Going yeah. back for a minute. So, you know, here we are. You're sitting there with Joe and Melissa and, you know, you're the hated woman. It's going to come out, blah, blah, blah. I mean, let's put all this fighting aside. Like, what does Joe Gorga think? I mean, does he, do you think, like, isn't he concerned about his wife possibly cheating ver- versus this fight with his sister or a TV show? This is I'm your gonna wife. Be very, very honest with you, that night when I finally caved and said yeah it was your sister the look in joe's face dropped completely like my i felt bad for him like he was devastated he he was holding back like he he just couldn't believe that oh my it is true like he was hurt you could tell he was genuinely hurt the other one could care less she just kept drinking her wine but i i don't think he thought that it he probably thought it was me, Kim, just whatever they wanted to call us. And we're looking for fame and life went on. I don't, I don't need Bravo. I still work. I still make my money. I don't need a TV show to make my money or an ad or what does she have now? Fake bathing suits. So I don't know what the heck she has. Living your life. You're not out there pointing yourself for a dollar. You know, we have this new season where, you know, now like Margaret Josephs, you know, she leaked to her best friend of 40 years, you know, this little PR bitch told Margaret, Margaret told her best friend. Now it's out there that Melissa, you know, the rumor is she kissed this guy, Nick, in the back of a car. Here we are. It's eight seasons later. We're still talking about a Melissa cheating rumor. Like, do you believe these new rumors about Melissa and Nick? I don't know the guy, but what I, yeah, I believe it. Do you think, so like, do you think Joe Gorga knows secretly that Melissa cheats? Allegedly? I I don't know what he believes. I think he's blinded. That's what I think he is. I think he's just blinded. But I wonder, does he, does he not want to believe it? because they're on a show making $2 million? Like, is this marriage going to fall apart when the show is over and one of them gets- Honestly, I don't think Joe would ever leave her. I I personally think Joe really loves her. Do I think she's reciprocating the same love? No. Because Joe really 
doesn't need her. He, you can't say Joe's an ugly looking guy. He, he might do his side thing too. And they might have that marriage where everybody just does their own thing. And you know, once the kids grow up and go to college, that's where you see it part up in the everyday sports, teachers, dance, whatever. Once they go away to college, that's when they're real. Well, on that point, you know, one of Melissa's, well, it's really not her friend. It's her enemy. But this woman, Margaret Josephs, is disguised as Melissa's friend, even though she really wants her off the show. Melissa's friend, quote unquote, Margaret always says, you know, Melissa's going to leave her for a ball player. You know, when like when I, you say when they go to college, I wonder when the show is over, mm-hmm. is Melissa, she doesn't she's not going to need Joe if there's no more show. I wonder if she'll leave him when the show is over. If the money runs out, Melissa's gone. Oh. If Joe runs, if the well runs dry and Joe doesn't have it, she's out. Yes. Someone with the money, not someone coming into the money. You know, the, the Teresa Go Hard fans and the Melissa Go Hard fans, at the end of the day, you could defend her, you could do it. They don't care about you. No. And you know what? I like what Margaret Joseph is doing to her. She did it to us, so it's karma. Margaret is giving her whatever she gave everybody else. Who do you feel, and then we'll get into what happened that night where we started, like, who do you feel the most like, I guess, betrayed by producers, Teresa, Melissa, and this whole experience of being on the show? Production and Melissa. Teresa, a little bit more production and Melissa. Because I think M- Teresa might have just said something that, you know, wanting to say it, if it was even Teresa at the time that said it to her, but more production and Melissa. And Joe. Can't forget Joe. Joe played a big part of that whole scenario. The temper? Tall. Sit down. I mean, having met Melissa and Teresa both many, many times, Mm -hmm. I do agree with what you're saying, Penny. I am not giving a pass to either of them. There is something that is, I totally agree with you. There is a slight warmness to Teresa in an authenticness. And I do, I completely agree. Melissa is just, she goes after what she wants and there is no there's nothing there. It's oh, true to play that, you know, she lost her father card and everything. I agree. I think, I mean, I'm not giving a pass because we all have shit. And by the way, mm-hmm. I don't believe in these are my adult issues because of what happened when I was 13. Yeah, no. But yeah. I, I believe too, I believe the world took her father at an yeah. early age and she feels now that I, I, I got to get mine. And I'm like, I'm going to be, it's like, honey, that's not how it works. A lot of people have lost Imagine parents. everybody who lost their father at a young age or dad. How many children are one years old and their father died? Like, you know, my kids were young too. My daughter was 12. My son was 15. I don't see them going out robbing people and having their bills and cars repoed and knifing yeah. each other. For what? So that's that night. We started with that night. Now I learned that there was a gag order and that basically Bravo threatened you to not speak, you know. Like, so that night we had this physical altercation, right, with Jacqueline mm-hmm. Stiletto. And it involved Chris Larita and it involved Joe Gorga and your husband. Well, what happened that night was before um, I told John that I was done, I was confronting Teresa and John was like, absolutely not. He was so team Teresa. He was all, he's like, Penn, it's not true. Don't believe it. I'm like, I don't care. So Joe went to Rudd's with Mr. Wakili and they went outside and they took John outside and they told John, listen, as long as Penny admits so that it was my sister who did everything and she doesn't backpedal. And John's like, Penny does not backpedal. Penny said it, she's going to say it again. Um, they're like, as long as she sticks 